Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a mini review of the TH3D Studios upgraded extruder unit. I put the McEwen unit on my other Ender 3 and this one is on this Ender 3. First thing you're going to notice is that obviously other than it was it's a different color, it's black and red, it is all aluminum, anodized, these cap screws here are counterboard, the hole they go in, and you're provided the correct length screw. I like that. It sits nice and flush. Looks professional. This unit was originally designed, I believe, for the CR-10 or something similar. They show a Bowden tube on TH3D Studio's website. They show a Bowden tube fitting here, and they also show one over here. This hole in the pivot arm is threaded. But on the Ender 3, there is no clearance there for a Bowden tube. So your filament is going to be going directly through a threaded hole. Whether that's going to be a problem or not, I don't know. I may have to create something just to fill that hole to keep the filament away from the threads. Right now, it doesn't seem to be a problem, so I'm not. But in the future, I may. It comes with This unit comes with a steel feed gear as opposed to the stock Creality Ender 3 brass feed gear. It also only has one set screw. Since there is only one flat on this shaft, I can't imagine that having a second set screw will help any, but there were two on the Ender 3 stock unit. The spring that it comes with is very nice, has a lot of, has a lot of, of strength to hold this tight. There is a screw here and a screw here that goes through to keep the spring in. When time comes to change that spring or when you're putting it in originally, you just don't put those springs in. You slide the spring in and you um, put the screws in. Again, changing it will be just as easy as opposed to the stock Ender 3 that has those plastic projections that you have to fight with. Next thing you'll notice is I have put the Thingiverse thing in here because there is an unsupported area of filament from here to where it goes into the Bowden tube right about there. If you don't support that filament and you're using something softer than PLA, you're going to wind up when it retracts the filament and then moves it back forward real quickly, you're going to probably wind up with the filament coming out here in a crazy golf ball formation shape thing like I did. So, print this thing from Thingiverse. It's really good. Put it in before you assemble this. It's very easy to do before because you have to shove it into these threads. So, I just did it with my fingers and I just worked it back and forth for a few minutes till I got it to go all the way in. It also has a U-shape to go around the spring, so it's nice and solid, not going anywhere, and really provides great support. I've also put this in my McEwen unit as well. Next thing and probably one of the most probably the most negative thing about this and it really isn't negative is that this feed roller fits into a fork now as long as you don't over tighten this screw you'll have no problems so snug it down give it about a sixteenth of a turn and you'll be good to go tighten it much more than that and you're going to pinch the fork together and you're going to bind the roller up and you will probably get under extrusion so just be aware as you're putting this thing together make sure the feed roller still turns don't over tighten this this is pivot arm is sleeved like it should be so you can properly tighten this screw and you will not bind this other than that it seems to work really well it seems to be every bit as good quality as the McEwen unit I just really don't see anything wrong with it the McEwen unit does give you an extra M4 cap screw to put inside this spring. That way you can tighten back this screw out, turn it in until it touches the cap screw here, and you can use it to tension this screw, or excuse me, tension this spring. These are not variable rate springs, so cranking down on it ain't going to make it tighter unless it has lost enough of its, enough of its springiness that it no longer is reaching here and providing strength providing pressure against the pivot arm. At that point in time, you're probably going to want to consider replacing this spring. Tensioning it down will get you an extra month or two or three out of it, but it's not going to change the fact that the spring has given up the ghost and it's time to replace it. 
that's it I think that covers it it is a simple unit it fits on easily and it works well and I'm gonna print with it for a while and we will come back in a later video and show them side by side and I'll tell you which one I think I like the best and why thanks for coming by if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe if you're in the market for a printer please consider using one of my affiliate links it doesn't cost you any more and it helps me out a little bit have a great day. Bye now.